Robert Butler and I'm speaking to you from the Film Vault of the Kansas City Public Library. November is the birth month of Sam Shepard. You probably know him as an actor, but there's an awful lot more to this guy than just an actor. To celebrate his birthday, we're going to be showing films that Sam Shepard has appeared in, that he's written, one that he's even directed. And I think you're going to find that there's more to this guy than just a ruggedly handsome figure. Long before Sam Shepard made his appearance on film in Days of Heaven, which kicks off our film festival of his work, he was a playwright. Not just a playwright, a playwright who won a dozen Obie Awards. A playwright who won a Pulitzer Prize. Now looking at him, you might not think that Sam Shepard is a great actor, and you know what? I've got to agree with you. He doesn't have tremendous range. He's never going to play a gay character or a 17th century Italian, you know. He's not a Robert Downey Jr., someone who's a real chameleon. But what Sam Shepard has is integrity. He is 100% American. He reminds me of Gary Cooper, a guy that didn't have a lot of range but had an unbelievable presence on screen. And when you look at Sam Shepard in a movie, you can't help but feel you're getting the real deal. Now, Sam Shepard's plays say a lot about who this guy is. He grew up not really knowing anything about theater, and when he started writing plays as a young man, he'd been a musician before that, he just sort of threw in whatever he thought would work. So he didn't know the rules, and as a result of this, he wrote plays that were unlike anything anybody else was doing. People did things in his plays that, well, you never saw in a theater. They broke dozens of bottles, they tore apart the set, they reduced a, a manual typewriter to pieces. All in front of you, it was actually happening. Curiously, most of his movies have not had that kind of shock value, except perhaps for those he's written. One of those he's written is called Fool for Love. It's based on his off-Broadway hit, and it's about a cowboy, played by Shepard, and a young woman, played by Kim Basinger, who've been having an affair for years. And they only just recently found out they share the same father. Now they're in a motel room out in some desert, and basically, they're going crazy. That film was directed by a Kansas Cityan, Robert Altman. So you see, Sam Shepard gets around. We have one film in this series called Silent Tongue. It's a western. Sam Shepard both wrote it and directed it, and he got a heck of a cast. River Phoenix, Richard Harris, Alan Bates. The guy put together a real package here. I've said earlier that Sam Shepard, as an actor, doesn't have a lot of range. But you'd be surprised what he's capable of. For instance, we're showing the right stuff, the film about the early years of the NASA space program, in which Shepard won an Oscar nomination for playing a veteran test pilot. And then a little bit later on in the month, we're going to be showing a really fine comedy, Baby Boom. It stars Diane Keaton as a high rolling executive who inherits a child. Sam Shepard plays the small town veterinarian who wins her heart. The guy can do romantic comedy, too. I'm not going to tell you that everyone's going to love everything Sam Shepard does because at the heart of this guy is a real discontent. All of his plays, if you look at them, are about families, American families, usually rural families, and they are going to pieces. For them, the American dream just hasn't lived up to its billing. They're in an ethical, a moral, personal dilemmas of all kinds. And that anxiety transfers to a lot of his work on the screen. Shepard doesn't appear in Paris, Texas, a film by the great German director Wim Wenders, but he provided the screenplay and it reflects a lot of his consuming concerns about the American family and about the barrenness of the American experience. In it, a man wanders in from the desert with amnesia. He's played by the great character actor Harry Dean Stanton. Little by little, his memory comes back, and with his young son in tow, they go looking for the wife and mother the, the, who abandoned them. It turns out she's played by Nastasha Kinski. They find her in a peep show booth. This is a great movie with a fantastic score by Ry Cooter. So come on down to the Film Vault at the Kansas City Public Library for Fool for Cinema, our free film series about the films of Sam Shepard. Please join us for Days of Heaven on November 5th, Paris, Texas on November 7th, The Right Stuff on November 12th, Fool for Love on November 14th, Baby Boom on November 19th, Resurrection on November 21st, Thunderheart on November 26th, and Silent Tongue on November 28th. All screenings are free and take place in the Derwood Film Vault of the Kansas City Public Library, 14 West 10th Street.